Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a vlog style video. It's a very gloomy day here in Miami. I'll show you. Very, very gloomy outside. It's been raining on and off. It's been a little bit of a bummer because I wanted to film some videos outside, but that's okay. I decided that today would be the perfect day to film a kind of vlog style video where I go out and try to find some niche or just, you know, nicer designer perfumes, fragrances from um, discount stores. I've been seeing a lot of people going around and doing this and it looks like a lot of fun. I really, <laughs> I really love shopping, but it's even more fun to go out and try to find a good bargain. So I think it's right up my alley. We're gonna be going to Nordstrom's Rack their discount store and then we're gonna be going to like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, like there's just a whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of them right next to me. So I'm really excited to try this challenge, see if we can find some good stuff. I haven't had the best of luck in the past looking in these stores for fragrances, but maybe today's my lucky day. Let's keep our fingers crossed, get the directions in the GPS and hopefully we'll find something good. VIP parking spot right up front, even parallel parked. Didn't scratch up the rims, I know. Very impressive. Okay, so ladies, well, that was pretty successful. We got something. I ended up finding a bottle of uh, Le Mal, Le Mal, Jean Paul Gaultier, for only $30. So. Now I'm driving back to South Beach. There's a TJ Maxx and a, not a Marshalls, what is it? It's a Ross um, right next door. So I'm gonna do that and then I have, that's pretty much all I'm gonna have time to do today. Um, I kind of forgot that I had to go cat sit. <laughs> uh, I do like a lot of volunteer stuff and like, I do like drop in visits for animals as well. So I have to do that and I have to cook dinner. So I, don't, I just, I don't have enough time to go shopping. One of these days, if this video does well and if I get some interesting finds, I will like spend a whole day like, going all over Miami to find the perfect um, fragrances. But I'll show you guys everything that I bought at the end of the video, so stay tuned. I think that I got some interesting finds and I'm excited to hear your opinion. Alright guys, we are back and I'm ready to show you guys my picks. I actually got a pretty decent haul, I think. I got one, two, three, four, five, six different fragrances I'm gonna show you. For the record, I just wanna put it out there. <laughs> I actually just filmed this, but I had my microphone not plugged into the right place and it didn't record the audio. So. I have to do it from scratch and so I guess this is kind of not really my, the most authentic first reaction because I already smelled it but I'm not gonna be spraying it on strips because I'm just gonna smell the atomizer because I already sprayed all these and my apartment now smells like 20,000 different perfumes. I'm sorry, but I'm still gonna tell you guys what I think. So the first fragrance that I got, I got it Nordstrom Rack. And I think this is probably the best deal out of all of them that I got today. And this is Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. This is the Eau de Toilette. And I picked this up for $30. So I think that these originally go for like, maybe like 90, 80 or $90. So I think that's an amazing steal. I was really shocked to see this at Nordstrom Rack. I guess just cause it's a little bit older, it's been around for a while that it was at you know the rack store and i really like it what i said in my first video <laughs> you take one of this was i really liked it it's very aquatic this isn't the first time that i'm smelling this but i really like it it's very pleasant it's very aquatic nice for the summer and as it dries down it gets a little bit spicier it's really nice i think it was an amazing deal for only 30 dollars, and i think it'll look good next to my La Belle Le Parfum that I have in my collection. Very excited about this one. And then the next store that I went to was Marshalls. Ooh, no, I'm dropping everything. So I went to Marshalls and I picked up a couple things from there. The first one that I got was Captivating Essence Neroli and Musk. I was 
kind of excited about this one. I actually looked it up before I bought it and it got a lot of good reviews and this is only $12.99. And my thoughts on this, I like the bottle. It's kind of like a vintage vibe, very classy. And my impressions on this one was just that it's very outdated. I hate to say it, it's very, very outdated. It's very old. The first spritz that you get is like that floral, the neroli, but then it kind of like starts to turn into this very like Oh, I hate to say it, but like a grandma scent, much older, much more mature. But what I will say about this is that it's not like offensive. I feel like if you wore this fragrance, I think you could pull it off. And I don't think anyone would be like gossiping about your fragrance. Like, oh my God, that girl smells so bad. I think that you just, it's not very impressive. Like no one's going to be complimenting you or being like, oh wow, like I love that scent. And then the next one that I got from Marshalls, ah, such a letdown. <sighs> I'm part of so many fragrance groups on Facebook and you know, people giving the recommendations, talking about fragrances that they love. And this one has been featured. Like I've probably seen this fragrance talked about maybe like 50 times and everyone always has such good things to say about it, except me. <laughs> and this is Pink Sugar by Aqualina. This is what the bottle looks like. It's very basic. I think, I don't remember, it doesn't have the price on here. I think I got this for $8. So it was really, really cheap. So I can't complain too much, but the fact is for me, I just, it's just so bizarre. Cause I know that so many people love this fragrance. Like there are women saying like, men chase after me when I wear this. Like my significant other loves it, thinks it's so sexy, da 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 da. Like I hate this fragrance. <laughs> it just, there's just something about it that makes it smell gross. It's like a very, it's like a gourmand kind of cotton candy fragrance, sweet car caramel, vanilla kind of cotton candy scent. But to me, there's something in that makes it smell like burnt sugar, like just not a pleasant scent. There's some note in this that just really puts me off. Like I sprayed it on my skin and I'm just like, get my arm away from me. I don't like this. It's not. It's a no for me. It's a pretty bottle. I feel really bad about saying it, but it's a definite no. The last place that I went to was Ross, which I was actually surprised. Um, they, were, they had a huge selection at Ross and I wasn't expecting it. So it was kind of a cool um, surprise. And the first one that I got is a men's fragrance. This is Perry Ellis 360 Red. I had to do it. I had to do it. We all know why the dildo of the fragrance industry. Oh yeah, this one was uh, this one was $17.99. So this is kind of like an OG, been around forever. And this is also the Eau de Toilette. And I like this one. I like the first take of this video so much better because I spray it and I smell it and I get like my real first impression. But um, I think it smells good. It smells almost a little bit like light blue intense to me. It's a good summertime fragrance, I think. It's pretty good. I don't know. I think I said it reminded me of like an Italian dad. Like I said that, I try to picture the person wearing the fragrance when I describe it, <laughs> like standing right in front of me. And I just pictured like the Italian dad, you know, trying to scare his daughter's first date. You know, she brought him home and he's trying to intimidate her. Like that, that's just what I picture. I know it's a little silly, but that's me. Perry Ellis 360 Red, I like it. And it's multifunctional if you're a woman, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last two that I got are by Ariana Grande. Both of these were only $22. I got Cloud and Thank You Next. I wanted to get Cloud because it's, I, I'm probably gonna end up, well, not probably, I'm going to be um, gifting this because it is a very well-known dupe for Baccarat Rouge by 40. And I know a lot of my friends really love that scent. So I thought it'd be fun to gift them a bottle. I like it a lot. It's very likable. When you first spray it, it smells a lot like alcohol, but that, that evaporates pretty quickly. It's a marshmallowy Baccarat Rouge by 40. It's really nice. And then this one I was actually really shocked by. This is my favorite one that I got. And this is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. It's just really nice. It's very simple, basic, fruity, floral kind of scent. And I think it has like some pear in here. It's just really nice. It's very wearable, it's very sweet. It's maybe a little younger. This might be something that I would wear to like the gym or something. Yeah, so very happy with that. I think it's really fun. I wish that, you know, this haul had turned out a little bit better. I wish I could have found some niche fragrances, but I think that I just need to do some research on like when the best days and times are to go find these deals because I mean, I live in Miami. You would think that Miami would have like really good stuff, but there was really nothing that great. I mean, I think the things that I found were definitely the best. I was really shocked to find a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance at Nordstrom, but I mean, that was like it. There was nothing. I've seen other reviewers doing videos like this 
you know, finding like, finding like Maison Francis, Kirk John fragrances and things in the, uh, the discount stores. So we're gonna have to figure out the best place and time to go. And I'll definitely do this video again. But anyway, I think it was a fun experience. I really love shopping and I really love trying to find a deal, right? Like treasure hunting. It's, it's kind of fun. So, so I'll definitely be doing this again. Leave a comment below if you like this type of video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.